Hi guys, this is Floss and this is the Grape Jelly Library. Thank you so much for joining me. Please hit that subscribe button. Well, pardon my appearance. I was outside working on the side of the house and in the front pulling weeds and watering and sweeping and all that kind of stuff. Um, but the day is ending, and I came in the house to get ready for bed. But before I do, I have to bring you guys one book for 25 books in the month of June. This is day nine. Um, I had a little bit of a hard time deciding what book I was going to showcase to you today because um, some of the books have been heavy, heavy hitters. And so I wanted to bring something a little more lighthearted to your table but um I just couldn't find one um and then I noticed this book and I said yes that's it that's the book I want to do today the book is Hooked by Michael Moss this is one of my very favorite books I read this maybe two years ago and I enjoyed it so much I read the other book by uh, him Salt Sugar Fat and this is actually the winner of the Pulitzer Prize. Um, so um, this is, <laughs> this is a fun book, an interesting book. It is a book that helps us to realize the things that we take for granted and not to spoil anybody's fun or take any of their enjoyment of eating or what they eat away from them. But, um, it is good to know how things come about and what goes on behind the scene. And um, this book is fascinating in what you will find out. And if you're, if you, I should say, <laughs> if you don't want to change your diet and your lifestyle, that is perfectly fine. I, I hear you loud and clear, but if you're looking for a little change, maybe um, try something different with your nutrition, this would definitely be the book for you. The things you're going to learn in this book are phenomenal. They're so interesting. Example, I never knew that, dare I say, a cracker would taste like cardboard if they didn't lace it with so much salt. The food companies like to use addictive properties and the three main addictive properties in any food, um, in any element of food would be salt, sugar, fat. Hence the book, Salt, Sugar, Fat. Um, this is a book on the ingredients that they put into our food to get us hooked. If we get hooked, we're going back for more, right? If we go back for more, then we are putting more money into um, big corporate American companies. I'll just read you a little bit of the insert. I'm not going to keep you too long today, guys, because I got to get ready for bed. And um, I still have a tad little bit more. There's a little bit more things to do inside of the house. Um, so I would love to read you a little bit about this book. Everyone knows how hard it can be to maintain a healthy diet. But what if some of the decisions we make about what to eat are beyond our control? Is it possible that food is addictive, like drugs or alcohol? And to what extent does the food industry know or care about these vulnerabilities? In Hooked, Pulitzer Prize-winning investigative reporter Michael Moss sets out to answer these questions and to find the true peril in our food. Moss uses the latest research on addiction to uncover what the scientific and medical communities, as well as food manufacturers, already know. That food, in some cases, is even more addictive than alcohol, cigarettes, or drugs. Our bodies are hardwired for sweets, so food giants have developed 56 types of sugar to add to their products, creating in us 
the expectation that everything should be cloying. We've evolved to prefer fast, convenient meals, hence our modern day preference for ready to eat foods. A gripping account of the legal battles, insidious marketing campaigns, and cutting edge food science that have brought us to our current public health crisis, Hook lays out all the food industry is doing to exploit and deepen our addictions and show us why what we eat has never mattered more. Um, it is, if nothing else, a very informative read. I, I, I oddly enough, found it fun. I found this book to be fun. And um, if anything, I found myself hooked to finding out what else was in this book as I progressed. Now, I did the audible version. I chose that because I didn't know how scientific this book was going to be. And I, I was at a point uh, where I just didn't want to get too sciencey. Um, I felt I wanted to know about it. I, I tried a little sample of it on Audible and, and I liked what I heard. And I said, well, yeah, let's do this. Let's do a thing. So I downloaded it and we began the journey. Best journey I ever took myself on. Well, even now, as I see certain items, they have triggers for me. And I'm, on, I'm honestly happy to say they have no effect. They have no stronghold over me. Um, once you know what they're about, it's easy to stay away. And you know what? Knowing what I know, would I go back and read this book again? Yes. Yes, a hundred times over. If you're going to do this book and you have an Audible subscription, that would be the um, method I would suggest. Uh, they, the, the narrator tells it so convincingly and with such conviction. Um, yeah. Hooked by Michael Moss. That's the book I'm bringing to you for day nine. Well, I'm off now. I hope you have a lovely evening or um, good morning or pleasant afternoon, wherever you may be in your day. Um, I'm going to part ways with you now. Before I do, know I love you. Be well, be good, be reading, drink your water.